Of our other headlines tonight, despite a recent surge in COVID infections, San Francisco is about to close six community testing and vaccination sites. The closure comes to a surprise to one of the operators. Here's NBC's Sergio Quintana. At the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, the COVID testing site at Cap Street and 24th was one of the first community sites in the city to open. It has since morphed into a vaccine site for COVID and the flu and a Narcan training and distribution center. But it's one of six sites in San Francisco that's now been told to close. To be cut off like that via memo, it just feels like um, those memories and those lessons were completely wasted. According to the San Francisco Department of Public Health, the move comes because of budget constraints and a drop in the number of people getting vaccinated. According to a prepared statement from DPH, the end of the federal and state COVID-19 emergency last May also means the end of those federal and state funds that helped pay for the site. San Francisco is also facing a budget deficit this year, so the decision has been made to pull the plug on six community sites. Each has been told to close by the start of February. Most are operated in cooperation with community organizations in their neighborhoods. Despite the directive from the San Francisco Department of Public Health to stop operations here by February 10th, the operators say that they will actually continue until March. The people trust this site. This is where they go whenever they feel sick. They call and they're like, hey, are you guys still open? Can we go? So it is a crucial site for our community and it's low barrier easy access. One of the sites operated by the Unidos in Salud and the Latino Task Force on Alabama will stop being a vaccination site on February 15th, but will continue passing out COVID testing kits until they run out of those supplies. After March, the site at CAP and 24 Fourth will only open on the first Friday of each month until the fall. In San Francisco, Sergio Quintana, NBC, Bay Area News.